welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing the end of the year book tag. Uh, this is a tag that I did last year as well. Uh, I think back then I did it a little bit too late in the year I felt like. I think maybe I did it in like November or something. And this tag basically talks about your reading plans for the rest of the year uh, and I just felt like maybe it was a little bit too late. Um, so this year I kind of put it into my like video schedule pretty early on. I actually planned to do it in September, uh, I didn't get around to it then, uh, but I think October is still fine. So This is a fairly quick and easy tag, there are only six questions, um, so I guess uh, let's just get to the first question. And question number one is, are there any books you started this year that you need to finish? And yes, but only the books that I'm currently reading. Um, I'm not really someone who puts books down uh, and then, you know, planning to get back to it later. Um, so I don't like have any books just lying around that I started sometime earlier in the year that I need to finish by the end of the year. Um, the one little exception was uh, Anna Karenina, uh, which I have been reading since sometime this spring I think, uh, but I literally just finished that book. Uh, I finished it today, actually, the day that I'm filming this. Uh, so that book was definitely one that I needed to finish, uh, but I've been reading it like on and off for the entire year, but finally finished it today. So aside from that one, I only have the two books that I'm currently reading, uh, one physical book and one audiobook, um, and not anything else. Question number two. Do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year? Uh, no, not really. I think I've mentioned before that I'm not really that much of a seasonal reader, uh, with a few exceptions, like I do like to read holiday books in December, for instance. And if there are books that I know are set during a particular season, I might try and read that book during the right season, like if I know about it. Uh, but aside from that, it's not really something that I think too much about. So no, I don't really have any autumnal books that I'm like, currently reading or I'm planning to read soon. So I guess the answer to the question is no, not really. Then we have question number three. Is there a new release you're still waiting for? I feel like I might be repeating some of my answers from last year. I can't actually remember what I answered to these questions then, but I feel like I might be or might have some answers that are kind of similar. But basically, I don't really pay too much attention to new releases, and the few releases that I have been, you know, like keeping up with and being excited about, I think they're all out at this point. And as you may know, it tends to take me a while to get to new releases anyway, just because, you know, I have so many books on my TBR already that I want to read and want to prioritize. So several of the books that I was looking forward to in 2021, I still haven't read. So yeah. Someday I may become a person who like keeps up with new releases and, you know, reads them as they come out. But um, today is not that day. So uh, yeah. Question number four. What are three books you want to read before the end of the year? Okay, so there is one book that I absolutely have to read by the end of the year, just because it will complete the final prompt that I have left for the Pop Sugar Reading Challenge. Uh, and that book is uh, Black Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse. So unless I suddenly decide to read something else for that prompt, this book is definitely one that I will be reading uh, sometime during the end of the year. I'm also very excited to finally be reading the third book in the Garnet Run series by Rowan Parrish. Uh, that book is The Lights on Knockbridge Lane. Uh, this book came out in September, but it's a holiday romance. I've been kind of waiting to read it, so I will be reading it in December. It will be on my TBR then, and I'm super excited about it. Aside from that, there are also some sequels that I would like to get to by the end of the year, just to kind of like wrap up some series and things like that. One of those being um, My Brother's Husband Volume 2. Uh, I read Volume 1 in September and I really liked it and so far I haven't been able to get around to the second volume. Uh, but I definitely hope to do that by the end of the year. Hopefully very soon, but definitely by the end of the year. Question number five. Is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year? I mean, I hope so. Uh, I think I have some good candidates. Uh, two of the books that I just mentioned are Black Sun by Rebecca Rowan Horse and The Lights on Knockbridge Lane by Rowan Parish 
are both books that I am very excited about and have high hopes for. Uh, I'm also planning to read quite a few holiday romances in December and I definitely hope that some of them will be really good. So, so at the time that I'm filming this there are still like two and a half months left of the year so uh, even if I don't find my favorite book of the year during these next two and a half months I definitely hope that there will be some really good books that I'm still waiting to read this year. And the final question is question number six. Have you already started making reading plans for 2022? And no, I haven't made any like specific plans, but I definitely have thoughts about like some things that I may want to do more of next year or do less of next year. And I have started thinking about like potential goals for the year as well, but nothing that's really been settled yet. So no, I don't really have any plans. It's more that I have like thoughts and ideas about what I may want to like focus on next year or maybe pay less attention to uh, compared to what I've done this year. So that was all the questions for this tag. I'm not going to tag anyone for this, but I'm hoping some of you may want to do it. I think it's a really fun tag to kind of see uh, what pe people are planning to do for the final months of the year. And maybe just to hear if they're starting making some reading plans for next year and stuff like that. I always love to hear about other people's reading plans. So I hope some of you will want to do this tag. So that is going to be it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, you can always hit like down below or you can subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. Uh, but that's going to be it for today. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon with another video. Bye!